this weekend in the NASCAR Cup Series, NASCAR heads to Kansas for the Advent Health 400. One of my favorite racetracks. I expect great racing. So time to click your heels three times and let's preview Kansas Speedway. Hello everyone, my name is Kyle aka Racing Boy Short and this is my channel where I talk NASCAR, NASCAR news and everything NASCAR. If you haven't already, I would appreciate you subscribing to the channel. I do multiple NASCAR videos throughout the week. Also, comment your thoughts on this video. What do you think about Kansas Speedway? Who do you think is going to win on Sunday? Plus, comment any improvements I can make on the channel. Alright, it looks like we're back in Kansas again. In the last couple of years, Kansas Speedway has put on some phenomenal races where you can use up the whole entire track. I'm personally looking forward to this race so much. With this generation of car, the next gen car, Kansas Speedway has put on some phenomenal races ever since this car got introduced. We've talked at nauseum about how this next gen car does not work well at super speedways, does not work well at road courses or short tracks. But on the mile and a half, these cars really seem to prosper. Finally! Kansas Speedway being a multi-groove racetrack, you'll see the dirty air not take nearly as big of an effect as it's taken over the last couple weeks, all season, all last season. Kansas Speedway is one of those tracks where you can find the clean air because you can use up the very bottom all the way up to the very top up against the wall. To the window! To the window! To the wall! And that's what I like about Kansas. Kansas Speedway is a driver's track nowadays. It's all about moving around along your run, trying to find the fastest lane at that point in the run and on your tires. I expect to see a lot of passing, a lot of great racing, maybe even a little bit of strategy thrown into the mix pending the right circumstances. One thing I also expect is the Toyotas to be dominant. It seems like every time we've came to Kansas in the next gen era, the Toyotas have been unstoppable. In the four races ran at Kansas Speedway in the next gen era, all four races have been won by Toyota. Three of those four were won by 2311 Racing. And this is even the more interesting stat. And I think a lot of you may know this stat. But three out of those four races, like I said, were won by 2311 Racing. But all three of those races were won in the number 45 car by three different drivers. You had Kurt Busch win here in the very first race at Kansas in the next gen era. You had Bubba Wallace, who was substituting that week for Kurt Busch win later on in the year. And then last fall, it was won by Tyler Reddick. And last spring was won by Denny Hamlin, the team owner. So I guess that can put us into the next segment where I'm going to be talking about all the players and all the favorites I think we're going to have for Kansas Speedway. I already mentioned 2311. I expect Tyler Reddick and Bubba Wallace to be competing for the win along with Denny Hamlin and a lot of the other Toyota drivers. Of course, also I would keep an eye on Hendrick Motorsports. All this year it's just seemed like it's Hendrick Motorsports versus Joe Gibbs Racing week in and week out. And the way this season has gone for Ford, I'm, I'm not looking out for Ford. I don't expect Ford to compete for the win. And then I've talked about RCR. Austin Dillon has had an awful season, and I would love to pick Kyle Busch. He's my favorite driver, and I was really happy. He had a good race at Dover, but I need to see a little more consistency. I guess I'll throw in one more favorite into the mix. I'll throw Ross Chastain into the mix. Ross Chastain has honestly not had the best start to his season, has yet to go to victory lane. His teammate Suarez has. Chastain hasn't looked as strong as he has the last two seasons, but I know that Chastain has the talent, and he also did win at Nashville last year. Not that similar of a racetrack, but I expect him to be a little more competitive this week than he's been in past weeks. I would maybe put him down for a top five or a top three if you're a betting person. All right, let's pick my winner of the race. First of all, just to put another betting sort of thing in there, if you're a betting person, I would bet on either Toyota to win the race, or if you really want to get a little more ballsy, pick 2311 Racing to win the race. 
that's up to you. My pick this last week was Martin Truex Jr. He potentially had the best car. Mistakes were made. He ended up getting into the back of Alex Bowman. And it looked like the splitter and the nose kind of separated. And he wasn't quite the same the rest of the day. But I'm thinking this week with my pick, I'm going to have to keep the Toyota train up. And I already know my pick is going to really upset the comment section. But give me Bubba Wallace. Bubba Wallace has been extremely strong at this track. I feel like this could potentially even be his best racetrack, maybe other than Martinsville. I think he's really good at Martinsville. Bubba Wallace has seemed to find a lot of success at this racetrack. He's looked strong every time we come here. He's a top five, top 10 car at worst. Also this season, I've seen a big attitude change from Bubba Wallace. Makes me happy to see. And I know he's hungry. I know Bubba Wallace is hungry for a victory. He sees how strong Toyota is. He sees his teammate Reddick has already won a race. Reddick's had a pretty strong start to the season as well. And especially after Talladega when Reddick was celebrating in victory lane for Michael Jordan. I know for a fact Bubba Wallace was extremely happy for his teammate. But I bet there was a little bit of him was a little jealous of Tyler Reddick's situation. And he wants to get to victory lane himself. And not even think about playoffs. Because right now, he's around the bubble when it comes to the playoffs. That's my pick for Kansas Speedway. And for the underdog pick, I'm I'm honestly considering on running it back with Bowman. Last week, I picked Bowman as my underdog. And he ran very strong all race long in Dover. But I'm going to give you an underdog pick. I'm going to give you a true underdog pick. I'm not going to say this is necessarily for the win. I would say more for a top five. Something like that. Give me Carson Hosevar. This young rookie has had such a strong start to his rookie season. I've personally been extremely impressed, especially while watching his two teammates. I think he's slightly outperforming LaJoy. And Zane Smith, a lot of people were circling him to potentially be the rookie of the year. Like, this is the next big thing, Zane Smith. And he, he's struggling. He's struggling to say the least. While Hosevar is out there competing in the top 20, top 15 at some racetracks so there's my preview to kansas i'm really looking forward to the advent health 400 at kansas speedway like i said i really enjoy kansas speedway the last couple years it's put on some great racing multi-groove racing you can get all the way down to the bottom line you can get all the way up against the wall you can run the middle it's a multi-groove racetrack i expect we see a lot of great racing potentially some comers and goers some lead changes throughout the day. But one thing you can count on is Toyota being strong. Write that down, write that down! But let me know in the comments section, who do you think is going to win the Advent Health 400 at Kansas Speedway on Sunday? That'll do it for me. My name is Kyle, a.k.a. Racing Boy Short, saying peace.